Bainbridge Island Museum of Art, and I'm here to talk today about Mason Curry's Daily Rituals. The author has compiled a bunch of different ways that um, artists throughout history have structured their time and um, given meaning to their days through habits and routines. Um, and today we're going to be specifically talking about food and drink rituals. Talking about the food and drink rituals of artists, I think is really interesting because it's such a relatable topic. We all eat food and drink something every day, multiple times a day. Um, we all have different cultural um, connections to food and drink. So understanding what these daily lives are like for famous artists, I think, can be really interesting. So let's start with breakfast. I think it's interesting to see how someone's um, breakfast routine, how they're fueling up for their day, can really be an opportunity to see um, what their priorities are for that day. So take, for instance, somebody like Marina Abramovic. Um, she's known for being a controversial performance artist, really pushing the boundaries of contemporary art. And one of her performances um, at the Museum of Modern Art in New York um, consisted of her just sitting in a gallery, um, giving her full attention to the person in a chair across from her, uh, museum vi visitors across from her, and um, not leaving the gallery, just giving her full presence, her full attention to those people. So when she was thinking of what her breakfast should be, um, she was thinking um, something that would sustain her, something um, that wouldn't be too heavy, and she had lentils and rice and black tea all before 9 a.m. Um, and you might also be thinking if someone's sitting in the same chair all day, their food and drink rituals would be particularly important because um, they're not going to be able to get up and use the bathroom. Um, so she talks in this book about how she only has water between 10 p.m. and 7 a.m. and then doesn't drink water the rest of the day. Um, it's interesting also to know that she doesn't really have routines in her normal life, only when she has a project. She says, if I don't have a project, I don't have a discipline. Um, workday lunch routines are something that I think is really interesting, too. If you're working in your studio, um, you might kind of have comfort food or regular food you go back to every day, uh, like Charles Schultz, the illustrator behind the Peanuts comics. Um, and he talks in this book about eating a ham sandwich and milk for lunch every day. And then artists like uh, Louis Armstrong, who's a musician, um, performers probably spend a lot of their evenings out. And so they may not have the same kind of home dinner traditions that we would have. Um, and this book talks about how Louis Armstrong, although he loved beans and rice, it was hard to get out when he was on the road. And so he would have takeout Chinese food um, for dinner. That was his second favorite meal. And then, of course, we have special drinks to start or end your day. For a lot of us, that's coffee or tea, um, but drinks can be a really important part of demarcating time and um, enjoying our day. So we hope you enjoyed daily rituals, food and drink, and I'll look forward to sharing more with you next time on Bima's Art in Action from Home. Music with the Hornell Girls. Mr. Hormel, J. Hormel was a wonderful man. He was a legionnaire. So he wanted a drum and bugle corps. So we, these girls are coming in, and they had to all be ex-service girls, and, and the ones that were the head of sections or knew how to play taught these people. He bought all these bugles. And just watch the girls in the Hormel Orchestra swing out on this one. best people in the business that worked with us 
And it's like I was talking to a hormone girl the other day, and when you put the tape on and you listen to it, you know, Les Brown and, and Tommy Dorsey and Jimmy Dorsey and all that, it fits in very well with them for an all-girl. And you can hear that big band style like back in the 40s. Saturday was the day we moved to our new town. And we had two girls to a little white Chevy Club coupe. It was white with the green Hormel writing on it. And across the back, it was a cow, pig, and a lamb. And uh, so everybody knew us wherever we went. This car gave us away. It was nothing to, to drive 300 miles, do grocery stores in between, and then come in and practice, you know, play. We had to do a little special sales work first two days of the week. Well, it was nothing. We just went in the store and uh, talked to the owners, you know. So Monday morning, you would put on your uniform, a little green uniform and a white shirt and your hat. Look like a flight attendant. We had uniforms, the little cow pig and the lamb uh, buttons on our hats. Hit the road, either out or in town, and you were a special sales representative for the Hormel Company. The grocers were astounded to see women out like that. They would have assign us stores to visit, and you surprised the uh, manager because not used to seeing women coming in, and they had pictures of us, you know, that they would give out different pictures of the girls. And if you come in and find your lucky Hormel girl, you get a ham or you get some, some prize like that of a Hormel product. We checked back in Wednesday morning to the hotel, uh, changed clothes, ate lunch, and uh, became musicians. And we'd go into rehearsal. The band would go into one room and rehearse, the dancers go to another room, and the chorus went to another room and rehearsed. The show was two-parter. The first part was like a radio show. They had this radio booth here, and it was just a regular, strict, uh, half-hour radio show. This is Marilyn Wilson and the all-girls show music with the Hormel Girls transcribed from Fort Myer, Virginia. Hormel ham. The famous Hormel ham. Hormel ham. There's still time, folks, to order the finest ham for your Christmas dinner. While one of the girls warmed, kept the audience up, we'd go backstage and get into our pink formals and become the stage show. The dance band would play for um, the grocers and their wives. They came and they saw and they heard and they were very surprised and went away thinking, Industry on Parade visits a Seattle fishing pier, Pier 54, to call on one of the happiest businessmen in the land. No, he isn't one of these fishermen, but a man who thinks that fish and fishermen are both wonderful and has capitalized on the fact that a lot of other people think so too. It was to this crowded waterfront with all its own peculiar noises and smells that our happiest businessman came during the depths of the Depression to start a small commercial aquarium and a fish bar that soon expanded into one of the biggest, busiest, and most colorful eating places in town. Here, Ivar Haglund, the gentleman in question, serves a customer an order of fish and chips, a specialty of the house when it opened in the 30s and still a specialty today. Another specialty, clam chowder, has gained such popularity among thousands of Seattle residents and out-of-town visitors that Ivar now cans the delicacy. Try as he could, our cameraman was unable to pry the recipe out of Ivar or any of his chefs. 
celery, onions, tomatoes, clams. The ingredients are all listed on the label, but exactly how they're prepared is a deep, dark trade secret. Ivar himself keeps his hand in regularly. A pretty good hand it is, too, and as much so at business or at strumming a guitar as at wielding a shucking knife. He's one of those versatile all-around fellows who's been able to combine his different talents in one satisfying career. Still wish, though, that he weren't so tight-lipped about his chowder recipe. It looks so good, it tastes so good, and oh, how it does smell. Maybe the sawed-off boat oar used as a stirring paddle is the big secret. I think uh, there are two types of sushi right now. And uh, one is uh, our style, like uh, Edomai style traditional sushi. Other one is the fusion style sushi, mainly raw. And the difference is uh, real traditional sushi, customer have to know what do they eat. Some Western chef said, oh, you are lazy. Why? You don't make a sauce, you don't cook, you just slice and serve it. <laughs> exactly that. After I finished high school, and I went to Tokyo, getting a sushi apprenticeship in Yoshino Sushi, at the famous sushi restaurant, Jiro Ono. Jiro was the manager of uh, a Sukiyabashi branch. And I went to uh, Sukiyabashi branch first, about two years. I worked with Jiro. Then he taught me everything, big, beginning of sushi life. And then I came to the United States after uh, six and a half years. I came to Seattle 1966, December 1st. Oh, I just came to uh, Western country when I was young. And the United States is one of the, my dream country. One of the customer of the Yoshino. He came to uh, Seattle quite often for business. And uh, he introduced me, Tanaka restaurant in Seattle. But that time, nobody have a sushi bar in Seattle. So, while I was working for Tanaka, I make a Edomai style sushi from the kitchen. So I tried to find a, a local seafood. Yeah, there are lots of good things. I really surprised and I really excited for finding a fish for sushi. They're like a guidak and a razor clam, ocean smelt, in the end of the March, a new crop of a nice kelp. Mrs. Tanaka decided to sell that place. And I went to a maneki restaurant. So I asked the owner and built the first sushi bar. About five, six people, lots of Japanese company. And the majority customer are Japanese people but the still Boeing people and the warehouser companies people, they came to Manaki to have a sushi. Next step was my life. I like to have my own restaurant, Nikko restaurant in uh, Rainier and the King Street. So it was crazy, you know, I didn't have a time to sleep and nothing. <laughs> then Western asked us to have a Japanese restaurant in the hotel. So. I help and I design and I prepare almost everything. First time I work for a big company like that. So very difficult to control the, uh, everything. So I, I just, I work uh, new Nikko just one year and I quit. So I traveled to Vietnam, Europe, 
and South America and East Asia. And of course, I traveled in Japan too. And then I think in 95, I start the Shiro's. I hear everybody say, Biltown is going to be a good place, location. So I just drive, drive around that area, and I find out the current Shiro's. And uh, I know retirement one time. Uh, for, first, for a while, I, maybe I could enjoy it. But uh, after that, I don't know what I'm going to do. So I start to have a the restaurant, I was thinking. And same time, young generation, you know, who work for me, those people like to independent. So if I can help them, that's a good thing. I stay here almost 50 years still. I enjoy living and serving the sushi from the counter. My name is Jane Sexton. I'm the cook at the Greenwood Senior Center on North 85th Street in Seattle, Washington. I've been here for about two years now, and it's been my privilege to make lunches for our seniors. We have a small dining room when we are open, and it's uh, part of Sound Generations Community Dining Program, which has two parts. One is to provide a nutritious lunch to seniors, and the second is the community part, which is getting them together to talk and interact with one another and get them out of their homes and visiting with their friends at the Senior Center. So today I'm going to be making uh, buttermilk biscuits for you. I want to let you know that even though it's a pandemic right now, I'm not wearing a mask so that you can um, hear me better on the tape and also because this is a recipe for you to work with at home. So we're trying to simulate home environment for you as much as we can. First thing you want to think about with buttermilk biscuits is to keep your fats cold. That's your butter and your shortening and your buttermilk as well. I also like to put my bowl in the refrigerator uh, to keep it cold as well so that it, it helps keep your fats in a solid form while you're working with the dough. The important thing with buttermilk biscuits is also to be gentle but fast because you're trying to eliminate the time that your fats are melting prior to going into the oven because the fats make a flaky biscuit. So the ingredients for today's biscuits are two cups of flour, four teaspoons of baking powder, and one quarter teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of kosher or sea salt, two tablespoons of butter, cold, one cup of cold buttermilk, and two tablespoons of cold shortening. I prefer the butter flavored Crisco. So the first thing you wanna do is sift your dry ingredients together. This is something my grandma taught me a long time ago. Back in her day, she would sift it three times. But I found that modern, uh, every the flour we can get in the stores right now doesn't usually have the imperfections that it did in my grandma's day. But I still sift it because grandma did it. So I do it too. It also helps incorporate the, all the dry ingredients together if they're sifted. It's the dry ingredients sifted together in your bowl, cold bowl. Make a little well, like so, and pour your buttermilk into that. your fats, the butter and the shortening, which I've cut into small pieces to make it easier for me to incorporate quickly. Oops. Then I take a spoon. Uh, the reason I use a spoon, a lot of people use their hands, but my grandma taught me to use a spoon 
because it keeps the heat of your hands away from the fats in your biscuit. So just stir it all together gently. Remember, you want to be gentle but quick. So this is just a little extra flour to put on your work surface. I'm using a piece of parchment paper, but you don't have to at home. You could use your countertop, cleaned countertop, or you could use a, a slab of some kind. It doesn't really matter, but parchment paper keeps it nice and tidy. So you want to be gentle with your dough. Remember to keep your hands out of the fat for as much as possible. Just a little flip over in your flour. And then just pat it out, gently pat it out. So it's about one half inch thick or so. Or if you like a thicker biscuit, that's fine too. Make it to how you would like to have it with your jam or honey, melted butter. So dip the edge of whatever you're using to cut your biscuits in some flour, press down, give it a little twist, pop it out, put it on your pan, and repeat. You want to place your biscuits so they're just kissing each other. That helps the um, biscuits cook properly when you're cooking a batch like this. Just gather up these little bits left over, gently, not firmly, but gently put it back together into a little patty cake for yourself. Add a little bit of your flour, probably get another couple of biscuits out of that. So remember, shoulder to shoulder gives you a better rise on the biscuit, but um, I'm just going to take this last little bit and just make my own biscuit. There we go. And then the other thing you'd like to do when they're done is just give it a little push with your thumb in the middle. And that will give you a flatter top biscuit. If you don't give it a little, a little poke, um, it will create a domed biscuit. And then just put this in the oven at 450 degrees for about 12 minutes. Check on it at 10, I would say, make sure different ovens cook at different temperatures. So, 12 minutes later, we have some golden brown biscuits. We have some melted butter. So we have our biscuits, nice and golden brown. As you can see, the tops are flat because we did the little poke. Some melted butter, just put a little butter on each biscuit. We're ready to serve and I hope you enjoy. Hello, this is Annie from Two Dog Yoga in Lake City, where we practice uh, yoga right next to the Lake City Community Center. Hola, esta es Annie con dog, Two Dog Yoga in Lake City, donde practicamos yoga junto al Centro de Comunidad de Lake City. So we're going to practice yoga standing and seated on the floor today, so be sure you bring a blanket. Ahora vamos a practicar yoga parados y sentados en el piso, entonces Asegúrense traer una cobija. Let's start in a chair. Empaza, empezamos en una silla. So sit back against your chair. Apóyense en la silla con la espalda. Feet underneath your knees. Pies abajo de las rodillas. Hands resting in your lap. Manos descansando en sus piernas. Feel the support of the chair. Sienten el apoyo del asiento. Behind you. Atrás de usted. Helping you to lift. Ayudando a subir your heart. el corazón. Close your eyes. Cierren los ojos. And begin to inhale and exhale. Y empiecen a inhalar, exhalar. 
through your nose on the inhalation. Por la nariz cuando inhalamos. Through your nose on the exhalation. Por la nariz cuando exhalamos. Inhale. Inhalamos. Exhale. Exhalamos. Take your hands together and rub them. Tomen sus manos juntas. And then take your palms to your eyes, tipping your head down. Y apoyen su cabeza entre las palmas, haciendo su cabeza un poco para abajo. This helps to relax our eyes. Esto nos ayuda a relajar nuestros ojos. And our brain. Y nuestro cerebro. As we move into our yoga practice. Así que empezamos nuestra yoga. Inhale. Inhalamos. And exhale and slide your hands down. Y exhalamos bajando las manos para abajo. Cross your face. Cross your heart. Bajando por la cara y por su corazón. And rest your hands in your lap. Y ponemos de nuevo las manos en nuestras piernas. Inhale and exhale. Inhalamos, exhalamos. And now gently open your eyes. Y ahora despacio abrimos los ojos. So now we're ready to practice yoga. Ahora estamos listos para practicar yoga. So we're going to come to standing. Nos vamos a parar. Move the chair to the side. Movemos el asiento para el lado. And I'm going to turn my mat this way. Yo voy a voltear mi mat. Come to the center of your mat. Vamos al centro. And bring your feet a wide distance apart. Y abrimos nuestras piernas. About three feet. Aproximadamente tres pies. Take your hands on your pelvis. Tomamos nuestras manos en nuestra cintura. Hug with your hands. Abrazamos con las manos. And bend your knees. Y bajamos las rodillas. As you bend your knees. Cuando hacemos eso. You want to not be leaning forward. No se quieren agachar para abajo. Not leaning back. Ni para atrás. But right in the middle. Solo al centro. As you bend your knees, lift your ten toes. Cuando hacemos las rodillas para abajo, subimos and, nuestros dedos de los pies. And notice that lifting your toes y noten que haciendo eso makes you work more of the muscles around your legs. Sentimos nuestros músculos de las piernas trabajando más. Keep your toes lifted. Dejen sus pies de los. Keep your hands on your pelvis, pushing down. Las manos en la cintura apoyándonos para abajo. And straighten your legs. Y ahora hacemos las piernas completamente Now derechas. Your toes down. Y ahora bajamos los dedos de los pies. Let's do that again. Bend your knees. Lo vamos a hacer una vez más. Maybe a little deeper. Un poco más abajo cuando hacemos las rodillas para abajo. Lift your ten toes. De nuevo los dedos de los pies para arriba. Push down with your hands. Manos apoyando para abajo. And straighten your legs. Y de nuevo para arriba. Ooh, and feel how your spine gets longer. Sienten como su espalda se hace más larga. And your legs root down into the ground more. Y sus piernas van para abajo más al piso. One more time. Bend your knees. So, bajamos las rodillas. Lift your toes. Dedos de los pies para arriba. Push hands in and down. Manos abrazando y para abajo. And straighten the legs. Y de nuevo para arriba. Zipper from pubic bone to belly button to heart. De nuestro hueso hasta el corazón. Toes relaxed. Dedos de los pies relajados. Good. Okay, now soften your knees. Hacemos las rodillas suaves. Turn your toes to the left. Volteamos para la derecha, izquierda. And look to see that your left knee y vemos que nuestra rodilla faces over your left toes. Está sobre los dedos de los pies. If at this point you feel unsteady, si aquí se siente que no puede estar parado bien, you can choose to put your chair. Puede elegir apoyándose con su asiento. Bring the chair very close in so it gives you support. Acérquense la silla para que les dé apoyo. I'm going to pretend that the chair is there. Yo voy a hacerme como que si está ahí. 
chair is going to help me come from a rounded position. I push down, helps me to lift my heart. Eso me va a ayudar apoyándome para que yo pueda voltear para arriba. Inhale and exhale, bend your left knee. Inhalamos, exhalamos. Derecho, rodilla para abajo. Inhale and exhale, straighten your left leg. Inhalen, exhalen, suban la rodilla. Please notice that your knee Por favor, noten que su rodilla doesn't go beyond your ankle. No va a pasar. A su tobillo. The knee should be above the ankle. La rodilla debe de estar arriba del tobillo. Inhale, bend the left knee. Inhalen, agachen la derecha. Exhale, straighten. Exhalen de nuevo para arriba. Inhale, bend, maybe a little more. Inhalen un poco más, agachen. And exhale, straighten. Exhalen de nuevo para arriba. One more time. Inhale, bend. Inhalen para abajo. And now take your left arm out to the side, looking out over your left shoulder. Subimos nuestro brazo para que esté mirando nuestro hombro. Maybe your right hand still on the chair, giving you some support. Posiblemente nuestro brazo todavía apoyándonos con la silla. And then turn your left palm towards the ceiling. Subimos la palma para el techo. And raise your left arm up. Y la subimos para arriba. Inhale and exhale. Inhalen y exhalen. Lift your heart. Subimos el corazón. Inhale, come on up, straightening your left leg. Inhalen y subimos la rodilla. Release your left arm down. Y bajamos nuestro brazo para Maybe abajo. you have the chair here. O lo mejor tienen la silla ahí. Maybe you don't. O lo mejor no. Turn your feet to the right. Nos damos la vuelta. Inhale, bend your right knee. Inhalamos, bajamos la rodilla. And exhale straight. Exhalamos, subimos la rodilla. Inhale, bend your right knee. Inhalamos, bajamos. And exhale straight. Exhalamos, subimos. Inhale, bend your right knee, maybe a little deeper. Inhalamos y bajamos posiblemente más. Notice that you're not leaning out over your right leg. Noten que no se están agachando sobre la rodilla. But your body is more in the center. Pero su cuerpo está más al centro. Inhale, raise your right arm up. Look out over your right shoulder. Ahora inhalen, suban el brazo mirando sobre su hombro derecho. Lift your heart. Suban el corazón. Maybe press down into the chair. Posiblemente apoyándose para abajo en la silla. Turn your right palm up. La palma derecha para arriba. And raise your right arm up towards the ceiling. Brazo subiendo para el techo. Inhale and exhale. Inhalen y exhalen. Inhale and exhale. Inhalen, exhalen. And inhale, come all the way up and release the arms down. Inhalamos, subimos y bajamos hasta abajo. Bend your knees. Bajamos las rodillas. And heel, toe, the feet together. Y el tobillo y los pies de, de los dedos juntos. And walk around on your mat. Y caminamos un poco. And feel the pelvis. Sentimos la cintura. And the hips. Relaxing. Están relajando. Come back to the center. Regresamos al centro. And let's take our chair now. Y ahora tomamos nuestra silla. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see this. Voy a darme la vuelta para que ustedes me puedan ver. Bringing my feet apart again. Voy a separar mis pies. Bending knees. Bajando las rodillas. Again, I'm not leaning forward or back. No right estoy agachando, in estoy en el centro. Hands on the pelvis. Manos en cintura. Inhale and exhale, straighten legs, lift your toes. Inhalamos, exhalamos, subimos yeah. las rodillas. Zipper from pubic bone to belly button to chin. Tenemos un cierre entre nuestro hueso hasta nuestra so cabeza. Bottom grows tall. Nuestra espalda se hace grande. Inhale. Inhalamos. Exhale, bend your knees. Exhalamos, bajamos las rodillas. And let your hands help you tip your pelvis. Y nuestras manos nos ayudan a movernos. And bring hands down onto the chair seat. Y tocamos la silla. Some of you may be able to bring your hands to the floor. Uno de ustedes o lo mejor pueden tocar el piso. I'm going to demonstrate with hands on chair. Yo voy a demostrar con mis manos en la silla. 
Inhale, let's go into a back bend. Inhalamos y hacemos la espalda para atrás un poco. Think more of lifting your heart forward than your chin lifting. Pensamos más en subir el corazón que en nuestra cabeza. Inhale and exhale into a rounded shape. Inhalamos, exhalamos y nos agachamos para hacer una figura como de un círculo. Inhale and exhale to a back bend that we call cow. Inhalamos, exhalamos y nos apoyamos en una posición que se dice vaca. Inhale and exhale, cat. Inhalamos, exhalamos, gato. One more time. Una vez más. Inhale and exhale, cow. Inhalamos, exhalamos, vaca. Inhale and exhale, cat. Inhalamos, exhalamos, gato. Bend your knees, take one hand on one thigh, one hand on the other, and push yourself up. Otra vez los rodillas para abajo y un brazo en cada pierna para apoyarnos para arriba. Turn your palms out. Las palmas para arriba. And raise your arms up. Subimos los brazos. Lift your heart. Subimos el corazón. Inhale and exhale, palms together. Inhalamos, exhalamos, palmas juntas. Bend your knees and heel toe the feet together. Y ahora bajamos las rodillas y de nuevo tobillos con pies de los dedos juntos. Okay. Chair to the side here. Silla para el lado. One more standing pose. Una pose más parados. With hands on pelvis again. Con manos en cintura de nuevo. We're going to shift our body weight to our left foot. Voy a poner el peso de mi cuerpo a mi lado izquierdo. Come on to the right ball of the foot. En la parte de atrás del pie. And then bring the right heel down and lift off the left heel. Y ahora en la tobillo izquierdo nos apoyamos con el derecho. Inhale and exhale left heel down, right heel up. Inhalamos, exhalamos, tobillo izquierdo para abajo, tobillo derecho para arriba. Notice my knees are bent. Noten que mis rodillas están para abajo. Inhale and exhale, right heel down, left heel up. Inhalamos, exhalamos, tobillo derecho para abajo, tobillo izquierdo para arriba. Inhale and exhale, feet down, both feet down. Inhalen, exhalen, dos pies para abajo. With your hands squeezing on your pelvis. Con tus manos en la cintura, apoyándose para abajo. Straighten your legs. Zipper from pubic bone to belly button. Bring your arms out. Nos hacemos derecho, un cierre entre and nuestra up. cintura hasta nuestro cuerpo. Subimos los brazos. Inhale and exhale. Take your right arm on top of your left and give yourself a hug. Inhalen, exhalen. Brazo derecho arriba del brazo izquierdo. Nos vamos a dar un abrazo. Now again, bend your knees. Otra vez, rodillas para abajo. And notice that you're toning through your belly, muscular tone. Y noten el músculo. And now shift your body weight over to your right foot, lifting your left heel. Ahora ponemos nuestro peso en el lado derecho. Bend your right knee just a little more. Bajamos la rodilla derecha un poco más. Looking down at the floor. Mirando al piso. Inhale and exhale, bring your left heel down. Inhalamos, exhalamos, tobillo derecho para abajo. Straighten your legs, unfold your arms. Rodillas para arriba y o brazos para arriba. Inhale and exhale, other side. Inhalen, exhalen, otro lado. Bend your knees. Bajamos las rodillas. Elbows down. Codos para abajo. Chin down. Cabeza para abajo. Shift your body weight to your left foot, lifting your right heel. Nuestro peso del cuerpo al lado izquierdo. Inhale. Inhalen, and exhale. exhalen. Inhale. And exhale, right heel down. Inhalen, exhalen, tobillo derecho para abajo. Both feet on the floor. Los dos pies en el suelo. Straighten your legs and fold. Hacemos las piernas derechitas y nos desarrollamos los brazos. And back to the center. Y de regreso al centro. And all the way down. Y de regreso al, para abajo. Release your hands down. Los manos para abajo. We're going to come to the floor now, so get your blanket. Ahora tomamos nuestra cobija porque nos vamos a hacer 
an option for this is you could do this on, if you don't go all the way down the floor, in most cases it's the difficulty getting off the floor. En muchos casos la dificultad es de nuevo subir del piso. So if you would like to, you can lie on your sofa. Entonces si les gustaría puede estar en su sillón. Or on your bed. O en su cama. To do this. Para hacer esto. So we'll come down on our back. Nos vamos a acostar en la espalda. Take your hands to your belly. Las manos en nuestro estómago. Feet wide. Pies anchos. And rock your knees from side to side. Y movemos las rodillas lado a lado. Inhale and exhale. Inhalamos, exhalamos. You can let your knees go a little further. Pueden dejar que las rodillas se hagan un poco más. To the side. Para el lado. If your knees are okay, and your lower back is okay with this stretch. Si su espalda y sus rodillas están bien con este. To protect knees. Para proteger sus rodillas. And lower back. Y su espalda de abajo. Flex your feet. Make your feet active. Haga sus pies activos. Create that zipper from pubic bone to belly button that we did in the standing poses. Crean ese cierre entre su hueso y su estómago. And then maybe stretch your arms out to the sides. Y a lo mejor saquen sus brazos para los lados. And look to your left. Y miren a su lado izquierdo. Opposite direction to where your knees are going. Posición diferente a sus rodillas. Inhale and exhale. Inhalen y exhalen. Inhale. Inhalen, exhalen. Inhale back to the center. Inhalen de regreso al centro. Have one of those melting moments. Otro momento de derretirnos. Nice big long inhalation and exhalation. Inhalación grande y exhalación grande. Feet are wide. Y es tan anchos. And then take your knees over to the other side. Tomen las rodillas al lado. While toning your belly with that zipper. Mientras teniendo el cierre en su estómago. Flexing your feet. Haciendo actividad con los pies. And maybe look over your opposite shoulder. Y posiblemente mire sobre su brazo diferente a donde están las rodillas. Inhale and exhale. Inhalen y exhalen. Inhale and exhale. Inhalen, exhalen. Inhale back to the center. Inhalen de regreso al centro. And take your hands on your belly. Y tomen sus manos a su estómago. And have another melting moment. Y tengan otro momento de derretirse. One more hip opening. We'll cross the right foot over the left thigh. Vamos a abrir la cintura cruzando el, el, la pie derecha a la lado izquierdo. Again, flex your right foot. Haga actividad con su pie. And rock from side to side. Y muévese de lado a lado. This is massaging your upper buttocks. Esto le va a dar un masaje atrás. It's also asking your core muscles to work. También les está pidiendo sus músculos de su centro a que trabajen. The more you go to the side, lo más que se hagan para un lado, the more challenging it is. Lo más trabajo que les va a costar. The core muscles to engage. A sus músculos del su centro. Back to the center. Te regreso al centro. Now, if you feel you have desire to have more stretch in your hip, si usted siente que necesita estirarse más la cintura, draw the zipper from pubic bone to belly button. Tone. Haga un cierre de su cintura a su estómago. And para lift tomar. your left foot off the floor. Y subimos nuestro pie. Reach around the back of your left thigh. Y tomamos nuestra mano y tocamos la parte atrás de la pierna. Maybe you hold a strap around the back of the thigh with your hands. Posiblemente tenemos un cinturón atrás de la pierna. And rock from side to side. Y movemos lado a lado. Y 
come back to the center. Regresamos al centro. And release the legs back down. Y bajamos las piernas. Bring your feet wide. Pies anchos. And rock your knees from side to side. Y las rodillas las vamos a hacer lado a lado. Second side. Segundo lado. Walk your feet hip width apart. Hagan sus pies anchos como su cintura. Cross your left foot over your right thigh. Cruzamos nuestro pie izquierdo a nuestra rodilla derecha. Again, create the zipper from pubic bone to belly button up. Otra vez creando ese cierre para arriba. Flex your left foot. Hagan actividad con el pie izquierdo. And rock from side to side. Y lado a lado. If when you lie here, your head tips way back. Si cuando están acostados aquí su cabeza se hace muy para atrás. Put something underneath your head to lift your head up some. Pongan algo en que apoyar la cabeza para hacer la cabeza para arriba. If you would like more stretch in your hip. Si le gustaría más estiro en su cintura. Create a little extra tone in your belly. Crean un tono más en su estómago. Right foot up off the floor. Pie derecho arriba. And reach around the back of the right thigh. Y agárrense por atrás de la pierna. Remember, you can use a strap. Acuérdense que pueden usar un cinturón. In your hands around the back of the thigh. En sus manos uh, y atrás de su pierna. Inhale and exhale. Rock a little left and a little right. Inhalen y exhalen mientras que van lado a lado. Back to the center and step your feet to the floor. De regreso al centro y bajamos los pies al piso. Walk your feet apart. Vamos a otra vez tener los pies anchos. And again, rock your knees from side to side. Y rodillas lado a lado. One last movement before we do relaxation. El último movimiento antes de relajarnos. With your hands on your belly. Con sus manos en su estómago. Inhale, arch your back, make a curve in your lower back, where you can Inhalamos feel the space. Y hacemos una curva con nuestra espalda. And exhale, flatten. Exhalamos y ponemos de regreso la espalda en el piso. Inhale, arch your back. Inhale, curva en la espalda. And exhale, flatten your back. Exhale, espalda en el piso. Inhale, arch. Inhale, curva en la espalda. And exhale, flatten. Exhale, de regreso la espalda en el piso. And back to the middle place in between those two. Y regreso en el, la posición del centro entre esas posiciones. Walk your feet back hip width apart. Otra vez los pies anchos como nuestra cintura. And then bring your knees in towards your chest. Y subimos nuestras rodillas a nuestro pecho. Hug your knees in towards your chest. Abrazamos nuestras rodillas para nuestro pecho. Inhale and exhale. Inhalamos, exhalamos. If you'd like more stretch, si les gustaría más estiro, draw your belly button towards the floor, that zipper action in your belly. Tengan un cierre a su estómago. And lift your forehead towards your knees. Y suban la cabeza a la rodilla. Inhale and Inhale, exhale. Y exhale. Release down. Y para abajo. Step your right foot to the floor. Pie derecho al piso. Hold around the back of the left thigh. Agárrense la pierna izquierda por atrás. And push the left thigh into your hands. Y apóyense las manos a la pierna. Same time, pull back with your hands. Y al mismo tiempo háganse para atrás con las manos. Pushing with your leg, pulling with your hands together. Apoyando la pierna y la Mano al mismo tiempo, juntos. Notice that that action, that dual action, Noten que esto, pulling and pushing, jalando y apoyándonos, brings tone to your belly. Sentimos el tono en nuestra panza. Inhale and exhale. Inhalen, exhalen. And release that leg down. Y para abajo la pierna. Notice the relaxation through the left side. 
Noten que se relajan en el lado izquierdo. Second side, hold around the left thigh. Segundo right lado, thigh. pierna derecha. Other thigh. Pull with your hands. Jalamos con la mano. Push with your leg. Apoyamos con la pierna. Feel that dynamic action. Sienten esa acción dinámica. And notice that makes your belly muscles work. Y noten que eso hace que nuestros músculos de la panza estén trabajando. Try not to use your neck or your jaw. Traten de no usar su cuello. Relax in your neck. Relajen el cuello. Inhale and exhale. Inhalen, exhalen. Inhale. Inhalen. And exhale. Exhalen. Release your leg to the floor. Pierna para abajo para el piso. Nice big inhalation and exhalation. Exhalación grande, inhalación grande. Okay, and we're going to do a very brief relaxation right now, but I'd like you to watch as I put the chair close in on the mat. Vamos a hacer una rela relación poquito corta. Quiero que ustedes me miran mientras que pongo la silla en mi mat. And put the legs up on the chair. Subo las piernas a la silla. Like so, and arms out to the sides. Pongo los brazos a los lados. We'll take three breaths, very short relaxation today. Inhale. Tomamos tres respiros muy cortos. Exhale. Inhalamos, exhalamos. Inhale. Inhalamos. Exhale. Exhalamos. Inhale. Inhalamos. Exhale. Exhalamos. Bend your knees. Suban las rodillas. Gently roll to your side. Háganse al lado. Push yourself up. Háganse para arriba. Coming to a seated position in your chair or on the floor. Estando en una posición sentada, sea en el piso o en su asiento. Inhale, arms out to the sides. Inhalen, brazos para los lados. Exhale, palms together. Exhalen, palmas juntas. Namaste. Namaste. La luz en mí, respecto la luz en ti. The light in me bows to the light in you. La luz en mí se agacha a la luz en usted. Namaste. Thank you.